Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, today we are checking out the QSP Pelican in Black Micarta and Satin Blade. Now, this is December's affiliation knife. So you guys know what that means, hopefully. But now, I will have to say that this is not the original Pelican that I had. Um, the original Pelican that I had got developed some really weird lockstick. It, it was very, very odd. I'm not sure how and why it it developed, but it did. But it just so happens, I know a guy, and I got a hold of David Blade Banter, who just happens to be QSP USA, told him what had happened. He's like, no problem, man. We'll, uh, we'll get that swapped out for you, because he was kind of interested in seeing what was going on as well, because that's not really anything he had heard of with the Pelican. So... He wanted to take a look at it. So here we go. We have got us a nice, nice looking penguin. Now you've got the gray micarta here. I really, really like the, I don't know, it's kind of like the stress, distressed, the distressed look of the micarta, you know, in the color and stuff. I really like the way that looks. Absolutely. 100%. Got yourself a lanyard hole there. Looks to be a G10 backspacer on it. Black. Now, you've got a titanium pocket clip, because this one comes, this is kind of what I would see as kind of QSP's middle of the road type of knife, as far as uh, materials and price goes. So, overall, take a quick look at it. You guys can look. Fit and finish, very, seems to be very well done. Absolutely, looks very good. You know, QSP has doing some, not only with their own stuff, but in their OEM work, just really, really fantastic work. Everything is, it's not necessarily, it is kind of chamfered. It's not overly, but it's really, really well done for, for yeah, it, it just is. It's really well done. Let's take a look at our, yep, centering right on the money. Now, as you can see, it is a flipper. You do have some jumping on there which does help the flipper tab does kind of you know it kind of rotates up as well a little bit so it kind of helps catch your finger now detent is not bad it's a little soft just a hair soft i mean you can see it breaks but it it i would expect that big blade and it's got a heavy blade on it too but it goes it goes all the way open, a little light, but you just give it a good solid flick and no problem. Um, I have yet to fail it, so that's good. Might be just a little light, though. Action on those ceramic bearings, not bad. And, yeah, no lock stick on this one at all. Uh, that other one developed it after, I don't know, uh, maybe three or four days. It was just odd. But this one, yeah, no issue, no issues with this one so far at all. So, very good. So, get that blade open. Now, they call this a Warncliffe style blade. Okay, right on. S35VN on this one, guys. So, that's what I'm kind of saying. You've got the micarta, you've got the S35VN blade steel, and you've got the titanium clip. That's kind of what I'm saying. It's kind of in their mid-range, and it's just under $100. So, I think it's $96.99. Yeah, $96.99. So, I really, really like the blade on the pelican and i mean you can kind of see why it is called the pelican it kind of resembles resembles a pelican's beak there a little bit so i'm i am digging digging pretty much almost it's really hard to say but qsp is just doing some really good work all right oh we didn't look at our choil let's look at our choil yep yeah, sharpened edge is out past the plunge grind and looks pretty darn good. Get that in there. Yes, sir. -y. No problem. Got some schmutz on the blade still. All right. Try to clean them up good for you guys before I do the review. But all right, let's do our spec check and see what we got. So overall, we are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just over eight inches of knife. What do they put as the... Let's see what they say is the official eight and a quarter. Yeah, I'm, I'm down with that. 
looking at right about a four and a half inch blade. I think they're calling it like 4.6. Then of course, if that's the case, you're looking at pretty darn close to a three and three quarter inch blade with about a three and a half inch cutting edge. And then your grip length is going to be, I'm going to take it all out to about four and a quarter inches. So, I mean, you've got a lot, you've got a lot of handle. Now, as you can see, my hand kind of comes out of the out of the curve of the handle, but it's it's not bad at all. It's pretty darn comfortable. So, I, yeah, I'm I, I'm on this one. I'm on it. All right, let's look at our PM2. What was that? There it is. Size comparison. So we should be fairly comparable. I think the Pelican's going to have it by just a little bit, maybe. Oh, just a hair, yeah. Yep, just a hair. Uh, looks like on the blade. Handle end is pretty good. And then, of course, our bug out. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's obviously much bigger than the bug out. So we'll just throw it out there for a comparison. No, wait. Now, this is going to be a little bit more of a sturdy knife. Heavy? Mm, no, I wouldn't call it heavy, but it's got some weight because it's a good size knife. I'm going to say, well, we might be pushing close to five. We'll see. One, three, two, 4.7. Okay. So not bad, but there again, now we are a little bit past that you know, ounce per inch. But that doesn't really bother me. Not on this one. Not on this one. Some knives do carry heavy. This one, not so much. Now, you see there? You got a little bit sticking out of your pocket. It is not deep carry. It is right hand tip up carry only. Forgot to mention that. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, Now, you saw there was a little bit of a pop. In and out of pocket, it's not bad. Now, you can see there, there's not a whole lot of ramp there. And not a whole lot of room. So it's on one, on a pair of my jeans, I've got a little bit of a thicker, you know, seam on the pocket. And it, it's a little harder, but in like my work pants and stuff like that. Yeah, no real issue. No real issue at all. So jeans, maybe a little bit, but my thinner work pants, no problem. Overall. Yeah. Overall, let's go with ergos. Ergos are fantastic. This thing fits my hand perfectly you've got a little bit of swell there in the handle really really fills the hand nicely not too thick for me you know some people maybe but it feels absolutely terrific in hand the pocket clip is so low profile that's not even an issue really at all you do have some forward jimping there that kind of helps your grip a little bit i felt better but i felt worse so it's okay the jimping is okay um, no hot spots whatsoever. Access to your liner lock is pretty good, and you do have a little bit of jimping in there to kind of help out. So, pretty darn good access. Overall, build. This one is super, super solid. Lock up, you're looking at, let's see here. You know what? I'm going to give the lock up about, sorry, I had to move it up so I could see it really well. What do you guys think? I'm going to call that... Oh, I don't know. If you can see there, you can kind of look under it a bit. So lockup looks, if you look at it like that, it looks kind of light, but man, it is super solid. So maybe 20%. I'm going to give it 20%. We'll see. But it it's super solid. The lockup is really good. Very, very, yeah, action. Um, I mentioned before, uh, detent isn't bad it's not bad at all maybe a little on the light side maybe depends on what you like as far as the detent as well for me i would say maybe just a hair on the light side yeah it's not bad though it's really not overall action a little bit of a initial drop is good little shake shut yeah not too bad not too bad at all I am really digging that blade. It's a terrific, terrific rope knife. Absolutely, that Warncliff style blade does absolutely everything I need to do, need it to do at work. Um, it's got good length, like I said, three and a half inch cutting edge. Yeah, the Pelican's scoring pretty good with me, guys. Overall, I would probably give it, 
you know, for me, it's an it's an eight. It would probably go up to eight point five if the detent was a little stronger and it had a left hand carry. We'll put it that way. Uh, but it's solid. It is really solid. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a solid eight. I, I think I think Blues Review Crew would agree with me. They're all back here. They're still here. They haven't gone anywhere. Little Red, Blue, and all the Looney Tunes gang, they're all back there. Boba Fett, yep, they're still here. They're still whispering in my ear. If you guys don't know. Alright, I'll show you. If you guys don't know, where are we at? There's Blue's Review Crew over there. There they are. There's Little Red. Yep. There they are. Boba Fett. Yep, they're all still here. Helping me review knives. Giving me their input. <laughs> Some of you have probably never seen those guys before. Yeah, they help me out sometimes. All good guys. Grogu. Grogu's right there too. Did you see Grogu? Yeah, Grogu's there. Alright, back, the, <laughs> back to the Pelican. Yeah, you know, I'm digging it guys. It's a pretty solid knife. And like I said, not only is QSP doing good things with their knives, they're doing really good things in their OEM work as well. The Mach 51s, all the... The Mach 51 from uh, Tempest, uh, all the Finch knives, my goodness, the, the Nimble, uh, you just go on and on. They're doing some really, really good work out there. Let me know what you guys think, guys. What do you think of the Pelican? I am, overall, it's a good one for me. Um, I'd be interested in hearing what you guys think as well. As always, it's been great talking to you guys today. Like, subscribe. Leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Bye-bye.